YouTube, what's going on? I'm just uh, doing my first playthrough of 1.0 for seven days. Uh, console literally played this an hour after it dropped. I already had it downloaded and everything. I was planning on streaming this for you, um, yo, know, for you folks. Uh, gonna be getting into my first playthrough here, but I just kind of want to go through the settings for all of you. It's kind of one of those. I uh, just want to take a look here. Okay, so for online servers, uh, you know, only four players, so that's not going to be coming until uh, 1.0. Uh, but so let's take a look at the worlds we got here. We got Navsgain, got Pregen 4K1, and then like 4K2, 4K3, 4. So for all the world size. We got we got 8K maps, uh, so okay. We only have we only have 8K maps, so what I'm gonna do here, folks, is we're gonna go check. Like, uh, we're gonna. I'm thinking of we're gonna start off at Nav's game just to start this uh, just to kick this all off so the music in this is insane so <clears throat> just gonna name this first 1.0 game there we go uh, you won't be able to see me like typing my stuff in because uh, PS5 is limited but we're gonna go with we're gonna go with Adventurer because I know Seven Days fairly well. And. Okay. Take a look at basic stuff. Blood Moon Frequency, we can do. Up to 30 day Blood Moon Frequency. We can do 20, 14 days, 10 days. Or you can disable it. You can. But I'm just gonna keep it box standard here. We're gonna do just kind of mostly standard stuff. I can even set it to like be to be uh, random range. And so and it's like you could do blood moon count. Um, I could do a full 64 Horde Knight. Oh my. So, um, I'm not gonna go completely insane with it, but I'm gonna change it to 16 enemies uh, for Horde Knight. We're gonna do. And that, those settings look good. And. Looking at all this. I'm just gonna keep everything on. Daily quest progression limit. Um, can I change this? We're just gonna change that to unlimited because, like, I do want to do quests and I don't want it to be uh, limited. So, um, don't plan on doing multiplayer stuff. But what is this? Oh, okay. Like I said, not going to be getting into all that basic stuff, but... Um, so let's just... I'm just going to jump in here and look at that beautiful... Look at that beautiful save. Uh, so I will be with you once I load into the game. All right, folks, for YouTube, here we go. Here we are. Spawn the world, it's building environment. And here we are. 1.0. Um, I haven't even adjusted settings yet, so. Um, 
open inventory is circle now. It used to be square. That's unusual. Uh, my PlayStation ID. There's the there's the whole <laughs> skill tree. Go yeah, like got the death XP penalty protection for now. Um. Oh wow. Redeem that. So okay. We got our basic survival stuff, so hang on one second while I do uh, some setting adjustments here, folks. I will be back to you in just one second once I get it taken care of. Okay, guys, so doing some adjusting and... Yeah, I had to adjust the dead zones, like I had turned off the dead zones and everything like that, so... This looks to be so much better than... Uh, one point, well, legacy version here, so let's just get started here with our, our initial uh, starter quest here. Man, this feels so good to be on 1.0, just, you go. this is so exciting, like, uh, I had, like, the, uh, I had 1.0, like, uh, just to give you guys some info, like, we're you know, like, uh, download, like, within, like, 10 minutes, but, you know, I did put out a community post, uh, last night for you, saying that, uh, well, as a new recording, this, you know, like, recording, you know, it's on, it's literally on launch date, you know, just literally put in for, for you guys, like, you know, but, you know, like, that was gonna be, like, streaming an hour after launch of this, and, you know, Looks like we're already spawned into a, a little, a little, uh, it's Raider Station Beta. So that's really cool to see. Oh. Might take me a little bit of getting used to on, on here for 1.0, yo. Do I hear zombies? I'm getting used to the music here, folks, so. Yo, my apologies if I get a little flustered right now, so might as well grab some some plants here. Did I already grab the So I got all my materials ready, so um Nope, don't don't track it. Like I said, this is all for Hey, got my first trophy. Cause he's the axe man. But I do want to let you folks know on YouTube, you know, like if you're watching this, hold my stone axe here. That I will be. That I will be streaming this series live on Twitch. You know, like I do. I plan on to be doing a lot of streaming on Twitch with 1.0 now. Uh, for, um, yo. So, uh, please do check out the Twitch uh, channel link in the description below, like, this video will be going up on Sunday, so please be aware of that. Collecting some more, uh, wood here, yo. Doing our basic survival. Can't believe the first to go through this for the first time. And, okay. Make sure I pick up some, some, <laughs> some stuff, and craft our primitive outfit, and... Some of the controls are a little familiar, but like they got to get used to the inventory being um being so no uh yo being circle instead of square for I believe like Xbox Xbox folks it it would be uh B I think it is it's like I don't remember the, <laughs> the controller and uh, but. Uh, gotta wear my outfit, so. What I don't like is they don't, they, they didn't give the, they didn't give me the, uh, they don't have the hotkeys anymore for console, which, uh, you know, would make it a little bit easier. Not a big deal, just something to get used to, used to, so. We gotta craft our wooden club now. Like I say, this is, you know, we're just kind of going through all the basics of survival here, so. Um, I got it. Oh, that's, that's the, that's the Duke Navs gain, uh, note. 
Just friendly reminder. <laughs> pay on time every time, or there will be consequences. Next time we don't be so nice. Uh, thanks for the gear, but you still owe us. See you soon, the Duke. So some, so some story and stuff to you know for later down the road. So, but we're gonna. I'm gonna just kind of move the basic food and everything up to our stuff. Um, I need to. I need to grab me some feathers. So, uh, before I get two bananas on this, uh, yeah, like go through all the quests and everything. Did I actually get a clean a land clean block? No, it didn't. Usually it would give me a land clean, a land clean block, so... Um, don't want to sprint around too much because I can consume food from what I heard. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll get the arrow crafted here in just a second before, you know, like, getting too, too nutty. I just want, like, I just want a good amount of feathers. Um... Say, so, did I already search that one? That will be perfect. So, we want. I'm just gonna craft a maximum amount of stone arrows just to have for for zombies, and uh, we'll we'll we can get some more wood here in a second. This game is absolutely gorgeous. I'm looking at this now on PS5. So, um, we gotta go to our quest window. Okay, redeem that for all the XP, and we have done the basics of survival. Now we have our first uh, first uh, quest here for for Trader Wrecked. It is already launching, and I will say, like, uh, you know, when playing, uh, when loading into the world, it only took me about. It only took me about a minute to really float up the world for the first time. Um, okay, so that's our radio wheel. Square is reload. Um, alrighty. So, well, man, I would. I wish that was. I wish I could actually have the hotkeys for that. And. I know our first, our first trader is trader wrecked, so I'm gonna kind of you know walk my way over, and uh, keep in mind we're on Navisgain here, so and this is the new version of Navisgain, so I'm not gonna rush through this too much, but I do have an idea like what I want to play through, and then again, it might not be trader wrecked, like because this is not, you know gen or anything like that it's like uh but i do believe like it's like we'll see who it is just keep an eye out for zombies and but yeah like just kind of looking around at the world here it's like the water looks so much more beautiful uh it's like uh i'm just stoked to see this wow this game is beautiful and it's like i can actually make good movements with the with with the uh with the sticks now because I don't have any dead zone on that's like this is just beautiful stuff so yeah we're only about 500 meters out from the trader so I will see you guys like uh oh wait 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 it's it's penny hello penny oh I've got to disable the deck trickers nice nice little headshot Ah, crap. <laughs> Darn. Yeah, I'm not a fan of adaptive triggers, so... Um... Let's actually try the club out. Ooh, and... Man, that is some strong aim assist. Don't know how I feel about that. It's like... Keep in mind, I'm coming from, like... You know... The point of, like, you know... Where I'm actually kind of... Actually should hit these corpses up for bones. I'll try and get as good of a start here as possible, you know, like if I hunt animals. 
Alright, up to seven bones here, but... Yo. Cool to see Peter Penny or Arlene as she's called by others. Oh, hey, look at that! Little tree stump. Let's see if we get any honey. Yeah, I'm gonna have to adjust, like, adaptive triggers really quick and... Yo, know, like, uh... And also, I'm gonna turn off aim assist. It's like... I know some people probably want aim assist, but I'm like... Uh... I'm just not a fan of either of those. But, um... Yo, know, like, I'm just gonna kinda walk over to the trader, try to save my... i to save my... Um... You know, my stamina and also my food, because I... Like I said, I've heard that it really can take a drain on your food and your water, like, uh, which, by the way, is, like, yo, um, you know, I just realized, like, my food and, my food and water is now at the bottom, so you can actually see it, uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll just kind of fast travel this, uh, well, not fast travel, uh, fast forward this, you know, for you guys, you know, just kind of let you admire the beauty, so I will let you know once we're at our first raider. Yeah, we're we're coming up to our first trader here. Uh, make sure I collect more birds' nests just for extra resources and everything like that. And ha! Ah, it looks like who is this? Who is it? Looks like trader wrecked. Always lose those birds' nests. It is. We have Trader Wreck folks, so let's come on in and say hello. Actually, to so there's even a chat here and everything like that. That's how you access your challenges really quick. Um, but yeah, let's beautiful, beautiful gates and everything. I believe you can't beat into these, but a little bit of. Like rock or metal music coming in. Here he is, the man himself, Trader Wrecked. At How are you doing, wipe sir? Wipe that shit off your boots before you come into my shop. Well, oh boy. I guess I'm gonna have to pay you now that you did it. <laughs> Thank you, Trader Wrecked. So, got a stone shovel and. Let's make a pact. You do something for me, and maybe I can't say I'm not Wait. surprised. <laughs> Good luck, kid. <laughs> got our first, got our first little, huh, got our first little, uh, you know, quest here. The buried supplies. It's initial for everybody. You know, like once you meet, you know, once you meet Trader Recchio or your first trader. So, but we're gonna loot his compound really quick. See what we get. There is, there's a little bit of stuff, but actually, you know, should look at what skills we want to go into. So, I've had some thoughts about this trader wreck, you know, like, well, not trader wreck, but what the, for this first playthrough that I want to go into, so, what I want to do is, I want to, man, I really wish there was some hotkeys, but, I want to kind of go into a, an intellect playthrough, like, that's, it's like, you know, focus, gonna focus on that at first, so, what I'm going to do is, gonna invest two points into intellect at first and then we're going to do we're gonna do low voltage well we're gonna get into um what am I trying to say I'm trying to get into like Derek adventure and all this stuff yo 
I know this is very powerful stuff, and like we're gonna kind of invest heavily into all this. So, um, yo. Know, so hopefully we get some better books and all that. This this is so cool. Just like yo, know, this just feels so much more alive now. And hey, would you look at that? Our first little, our first little um, skill magazine, forged ahead. And there we go. So um, we're gonna loot his like, compound here. So you know, helps out at least a little bit. And yeah, you, know, you never know what you might find around here. Um, check these uh, cabins and everything. So food pile. What do you have for me? Can of salmon. I'll take that. Wow. Even got little chicken coops and everything. Sounds like we got a visitor outside, which we'll take care of in a, in a second. Just want to kind of finish looting the... Oh, wait! Oh, looks like uh, Psycho Steve is no longer Psycho. He's just Steve. Come here, buddy. There you go. Get a little headshot on you. And we'll give you the pound pound. Ah, there we go. Wonderful stuff. We have already taken out uh, a couple of zombies here, so. And check our forge. Some brass and some cloth. No biggie. No biggie. I can't even pick up the stone. So, yeah, we got our first little quest here to go off of. I don't know if I set it to 60 minute days in my usual time, so we're gonna leave Tree Rex uh, compound open for the time being. We're gonna come back here in a second, and you can see the uh, you, you can see the the burnt biome over there, but we're not gonna like we're gonna kind of stay in the we're gonna stay in the uh, the old uh, pine forest here. So come here. We've already completed another little challenge for taking down some zombies. Um, let's see if we can get a sneak shot. Darn it. There we go. Got a decent little sneak shot. The bow's going to take some getting used to because the air drops, so... That's Mikey. Mikey and his updated textures. Good to see you, buddy. It looks like we're coming up on our first little quest here. Your initial uh, digging. So. This shouldn't be too bad. Because, like, I have watched some uh, 1.0 playthrough. Someone's already joined us for the first stream of 1.0. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ah. We are about to start our first quest, the Interberry Supplies. Here we go. Yeah, YouTube, because uh, I am recording this for you guys, like, you won't be able to see the the Twitch uh, chat, but, you know, like, I will tell you, like, so it's just something interesting. So, yeah, I'm going to kind of get a little safety hole dug up here, like, and uh, it shouldn't take that long, but you know, I've got to fast forward through this for you. YouTube, so uh, we just found the treasure. It was almost under the uh, little ramp I was digging here. Shrunk, shrunk down a little bit, but not too hard to find. Boots and food stash, so we got the White River supplies, and oh no. Please don't tell me I'm getting stuck with zombies. Ah, it's the businessman! First time actually seeing you in person, good sir. How are you doing? Make sure we take you down. Yeah, they get up a lot faster than they used to. And, oh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot about the de decap effects. That is so cool to see. Um, we want to make sure. Want to make sure we can kind of keep a steady supply of arrows going though. Oh, <laughs> so let's get back to let's get back to tree direct and and we will see what our first reward is. Thankfully, the yo not too far at all. So I forgot to search his truck. Let's see what's in it. Glue and rotten flesh. That is. Hey, I'm not gonna turn it down. Like, uh, got a lot, got a lot to loot. Hey, we found batten parts already. Which, uh, you know, once we, because I'm going into intellect, I want to get electrocutioner going as soon as possible. Oh, hey, it's it's Nurse Nancy. Look a beautiful doll. Ah. Keep my like this this arrow drop's gonna be something to be getting used to. Come here. There we go, she's been taken down. Alright, let's head in. Ah, this is beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna be working with Trader Rick though. Should think about it, start getting into uh you know, working, you know, look. Things for sale. Lop that smirk off your face. Doing so, one job doesn't make us pals. Got it? Yeah, yeah, Trey Rack, whatever. So, uh, we have a decision to make. Stove's already joined me. He's one of my usual YouTube viewers. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is actually take the, we're going to take the, the pipe rifle bundle. Because I am one to, and we'll also take a job from Trader Rect, so uh, we'll do oh, we'll do clear zombies like. Uh, you better not fuck this up, or I'll cut your goddamn throat. Easy there, Trader Rect. But uh, we're yeah, like uh, so let's open up our little pipe our pipe rifle bundle. So so there we go. We got our pipe rifle and. Let's just see what it looks like. I have to remember that aiming takes up stamina in this version. Also, search the trash. Now we got bow parts here. Gotta get used to... Gotta get used to reloading not being uh, square. No, not being circle. It was weird, like, so it's been, it's flipped around, but... We got our pipe rifle, we're, we're already looking good. I would have chosen the pipe baton, but I'm like, I want a ranged weapon early on, and uh, the the uh, the wood club will do. Oh, chicken! I see a chicken. Um, I think I lost him in the grass. Come here, chicken. Where are you going? Like, where where do you think you're going? I need me some dinner. There we go, already already took her down. And need I realize I have enough bones for a bone knife here, so. And let's get her get her first bone knife going. That way we can, can carve us all the meat out of you. Oh, I just figured out I just figured out the uh, the power attack. So power attacking is actually like uh, if you're playing on PlayStation, it is uh, your L2 button on default controls. I thought maybe it was gonna be like a hold down uh, R2. For Xbox, uh, your power attack is on your left trigger. And so we'll clear this. Uh, we'll clear this area out, and we are a little over encumbered at the moment, so we do need to consider. I'm going to just drop the tallow and the and the pine seeds. Like we're gonna have to really kind of. Oh, we got a couple oak seeds. We'll drop those as well for because we don't need those for trees. We don't need we don't need paper. Oops. Uh, <laughs> started to put stuff in my in my <laughs> yo in the rock area. Little, nice little pile of loot there, or drop stuff. So, 
Yeah, we got 300 beers to go to this quest, and I think we're probably gonna bunker down for the night in it. So, ah, uh, <laughs> always search everything though, huh, right, guys? See, like, we just got 46 cement powder and some bones and some wood. Oh, hey, look, it's uh, it's uh, Annie, as I call her. Looking beautiful. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Actually using the power attack for the first time. Stay down. There we go. Gonna be, it's cool being able to retrieve arrows, though. <laughs> let's uh, let's start getting over, though. Like, uh, I know, like, you try to save some food and some water, but, you know, really want to just kind of, like, uh... I don't remember if I have it set to 50 minutes or 60 minutes, so I want to make sure I have a place to bunker down for the night. Looks like we got someone else uh, coming over, though. A couple of cloth fragments. Um, we got... Who's this? Uh, I believe his name is Yo, so... Come here, Yo. What are your settings? Uh, they are basically set to default, except the trader quest progression is uh, set to unlimited. They have it set to four by default per day. I just unlocked the, uh, I just unlocked another achievement. I, you know, uh, so we're already unlocking a couple achievements on, on this version, you know. And, uh, you know, like, I'll look at those achievements overnight, folks, like, while night time's rolling, like, you know. Just to see if, uh, because, like, I would love to platinum this version of the game, and, um, and hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping they're not as ridiculous as what, um, uh, the Legacy version is, like, you know, hopefully don't have to take down 2,500 players uh, just to platinum this game, uh, so. But yeah, we got, we got a good a little bit here to the quest. I think I'm gonna change my sprinting over back back to uh what click to hold after this first episode here, so but um we're coming in here and Mushroom Mining Company. Alright, so let me actually make a a wood storage crate. So I found out the arrow keys are they can help you navigate the menu, so we're just gonna place our storage here. We actually just completed another challenge, but we're going to, I'm just going to chuck a whole bunch of stuff in here really quick. Lovely stuff, because there is going to be loot in here. Yeah, basically, our, aside from the uh, buried supplies, this is going to be our first, what? Oops, I forgot to initiate the quest. Oh, that was a dumb mistake on my part. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just lost all my food and water. Great. <laughs> Note to self, activate quests uh, next time before uh, doing that, otherwise I'll lose all my stuff. So, yeah, we're going to be coveted here. Uh, doesn't seem that dark in here. Yeah, we're going to kind of clear our way through here, hopefully get some sneak shots on some zombies, and... Oh, boy. Mushroom mining. You can see some red dots. Oh, zombies have already woken up. Well, one's already woken up. It's just Steve. Come here, Steve. Ooh! Got a decap on him. Uh, there's a sleeper. Come here. Ah, oh, nice. We're already... No worry. <laughs> kind of sneaking our way through here. Yeah, I'm not doing any sort of, not doing any, you know, sort of sleeper stuff, like, you know, you know, not doing any XP modifiers. I just kind of want to get, you know, like a vanilla experience of this. Uh, seems like a zo- Oh! Hello! Oh. Use the bone knife here just to... Get a little bit of bleeding damage on him. There we go. He's already dead. <laughs> nice. Nice. Let's see what these actually give out. 
Anything? No. Yeah, we'll, we'll worry about this in a moment. Like, uh, after we clear the... After we do the, uh, little clearing job here, so... It's getting later. Oh! Hey, it's the old spider zombie model! We're gonna have to come up with a name for you, because you're... Because you're no longer a spider zombie. Ah, uh, come here. Here. Ah, I missed that swing. There we go. Keep in mind, this is a tier one. We're not that bad, but... Wow. This quest is... This cave is... This is big. Really big. Nope, someone's already gonna come, to, gonna come to join us. Another Steve. Yep, see you later, buddy. And... Oh, we got a construction worker zombie. Let's see if we can get a good shot on him. Um... Oops. It's a little high. There we go, construction worker's dead. We got the maintenance worker. Okay, I'm kind of overestimating the airdrop a little bit. Those two are cleaned up, so... And... No error for me? Shame. Big shame. Uh, we'll just search these barrels real quick for a little bit of XP at least. And... We'll just see... Hopefully that we're coming up on the end here. We're gonna need to recuperate, recuperate a lot of loot. Okay. Oh, it's Petty over here. Another person joined us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. Oops. In her pretty red dress, so take care of you. Someone else has woken up with us. And no error from you. Ah, it's just Mikey. Give you a couple power attacks here, buddy. There we go. Mikey boys have been taken care of. We have gotten our first level up. And we have... That is a clear. Let's check out the main loot. So, we got a wood crate, we got some medical supplies, and... And we got a small ammo pile. Hey, some extra ammunition for the pipe rifle. Awesome. Let's break into savage country here. And... We got a... Armored up book. We will just uh, use that straight away, and we got a stone sledgehammer. That's really cool to see. And a wood crate. Oh, we even got a jar of honey. That's awesome. We also got our first non-skill magazine. Ooh, we even got a pipe baton. So, Magnum Forcer Volume 7, Criminal Pursuit. Adrenaline from chasing down scumbags in the heat of combat boosts your stamina. Sprinting with a 44 gun drawn in combat uses 20% less stamina. Read that. Our first little book. We also got our first kind of shotgun shell and everything like that. I was saving this for making a, you know, a pipe baton, but, well, we don't need to because we already got a tier 1. We can save it for higher tiers, but looking at what we need, we need two... Man, if I... If I didn't, if I didn't accidentally reset the quest, thus using my, uh, using my, uh, and deleting my chest, uh, we would, we would still have that stuff, so. Um, do we dare to jump? You know what? There. Well, we'll jump. We, I'm not that, I'm not much of a chicken. So. Um, we gotta make our way out of this, uh, mine shaft, though, so. Because I do at least want to be closer to the surface. I did miss this, though. Yeah, just some cloth. I don't think I'm gonna go back to Trader Rex uh, for now, uh, on, uh, uh, so. Because of how deep this, uh, this goes, but. 
We There's will a... delete a chest in the beginning. <laughs> their viewers just joined us in there. <laughs> well, at least I'm not the only one that done that. Yeah, this is just like, you know, I'm like, hey, I'm not perfect. You know, I'm literally just, just do it, just starting 1.0 here. <laughs> and. Oh, it's just, uh, it's just you. Hi, Annie. We're gonna use our baton here, because this is our weapon that I started skilling into. Nope, first time I did it, I had 20k dudes. <laughs> yeah, they're telling me, they just told me that, like, uh, first, first time they had 20,000 dukes. Um, we're gonna ignore the, we're gonna ignore the, the tree stump, but we're gonna try to go back to Trey Wreck for a, a Trey Reward. And, uh, so, <laughs> we're gonna race time here a little bit, uh, you know, going over to Trey Wreck, because, um, I would like to have some food at the very least, so. If anything, like, that would, <laughs> that would help me a lot. Because I, I lost all my food in that <laughs> chest deletion. So, not looking good. I'm already thirsty. You know what? Uh, let out of... Thankfully we could drink out of a... We can drink out of a, a river at the risk of dysentery, so... So that should be fine. That's the nice thing. Now, keep in mind, folks, once you're... Like for those of you like coming into here from like legacy version of console, you want to make sure you make sure you're careful about what you make sure like you stand still and and drink uh, that way you can like stand still for a second and then you can drink. It's like I watched like you know, I watched Woodle and everything and you know like he he didn't learn like the first time like yo well it took him a while to learn that like uh it took several content creators i watched that that you do need to stand still here we are back at trader rex trader rex do you have some food for me please uh okay. unfortunately can't search his stuff Better but buy something well, look here, boys. Oh, we got ourselves a real life hero, and now um, he wants to be paid. I will actually take the grilled meat. Thank you, good sir. And he already had swapped out some quests, so I think we'll I take work to do. If you don't mind getting your we'll hands dirty, uh, well, good luck. We'll take the good tier one clear over at Alistair's cabin. I just wanted to get through here really quick here to, you know, get myself back over to, uh, you know, try and see if there's some food. I'm like, the other stuff I really don't care about. But, uh, let me actually... How do I eat this? Oh, it's R2. <laughs> uh, okay. There we go. I'm probably just going to eat all this food just to just to do that so not gonna have bothered looking at the dukes and everything you know i'm just like it's gonna be nighttime and the zombies are gonna be running but yeah it's just one of those that's i'm so i'm so thrilled by this so all right might want to collect some stuff but it's like really a lot of this is gonna be this overnight's gonna be just kind of looking at uh, stuff in the inventory of learning stuff and and you know just doing what I'm just trying to learn here, folks. So, um, but we're gonna at least take it out. Um, we're gonna ignore the the hood zombie here. We're gonna ignore him. So, alrighty. Oh boy. Gotta get out of here before. Well, gotta get into that mine before. Before uh, it all kicks off with running zombies, so. Alright. But yeah, so, uh, you two, I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave this episode here, and. And so, if you made it into this episode this far, uh, 1.0, I hope you're excited, and. 
yo, I hope you do leave like a com a like, comment, subscribe down below, and please turn on your notifications, that way you can see more from me. It really helps the channel out so much, so I'm gonna get hungered down here for the night, and I will uh, hopefully see you in the morning alive and well.